Two people have been taken to hospital after a fire broke out in the city's west end. Crews responded to a two-alarm fire in the Dundas Street West and Maybell Avenue area shortly before 10 a.m. And that is where we find CB24's Beatrice Fazeman this morning. Beatrice. Lena, good morning. The investigation now underway here at the scene. Uh, a lot of firefighters have now cleared now that their, their uh, initial operations are done. We know from paramedics that two people were sent to hospital, both of them uh, men. Uh, both of them are in critical condition as far as we know at this point. Uh, neighbors that we've been talking to identifying to CP24, the two people as a father and son uh, who live here in this fourth floor unit here on, uh, on Maybell Avenue. Uh, this is a situation where firefighters arrived, encountered some Pretty heavy smoke here just around 10 o'clock this morning. Uh, several neighbors telling me that the father uh, uses oxygen tanks. And so there's uh, some concern here from neighbors that that possibly might have contributed to the fire. One woman saying that she heard uh, some explosions uh, just before the fire alarms went off in this building, alerting residents to get out of their units. Uh, the fourth floor unit uh, where this fire happened, the windows are blown out. I can see some pretty significant smoke damage as well inside the unit, uh, essentially a lot of uh, just black inside. It looks like black soot on the ceiling, Lena, from our vantage point. Uh, the windows either blown out from the flames and the smoke or firefighters uh, typically uh, break windows in these kinds of scenarios to help let the smoke escape, to give it an exit route. I had a chance to talk to the division commander with Toronto Fire who was here uh, with his crews responding, and here's what he told me about what happened. <laughs> They'll come and, and the, they'll start right here at the bottom. They'll talk to the crews that were on scene first and get as much information as they can. And then they will systematically go from here to the fire floor, have a look through the building, sift through the, the debris and try to come up with a, a cause. They're, they're very good. There, there are signs that they look for. Um, there's science that they use to help them determine what the cause would be. And so that's uh, obviously the early part of this investigation, determining cause and origin. The division commander was not able to tell me with certainty where exactly in the unit the fire ignited or what caused it. But again, several residents uh, who know these two people, the father and son, uh, telling CP24 that the father does use oxygen tanks. So obviously fire investigators will be looking at to, as whether that was a con uh, contributing factor to this fire. Uh, thanks to the quick work of Toronto firefighters, the, un the fire did not extend outside of this one unit. All residents are allowed uh, to be back inside their units at this point, Lena, but uh, certainly a troubling situation for people who live here on Maybell Avenue. They tell me they watch as a father and son were pulled out of the unit by firefighters. Chest compressions performed on both, but thankfully paramedics telling us a pulse was regained and they're both in critical condition in hospital. A cat has also perished in this fire, Lena. All right, Beatrice Vaisman reporting live from the city's West End. Thanks so much for this.